Laurie Amsterdam Show, brought to you through the facilities of the Newmont Television Network. Presented by your Newmont dealer, the man who holds the coveted Newmont Television Dealer franchise. With Maury Amsterdam, Art Carney, Freddie Blair and Dottie Dean, Leo, Blimby Blank, Andy Roberts, Kay Amsterdam, and Johnny Guarneri, his piano and his orchestra, at the Silver Swan Cafe. Newmont, first with the finest in television, proudly presents the Sherbrooke Console with 19-inch direct view light tone picture tube, oversized chassis for longer life and superb performance, both AM and FM radio, and free speed automatic record player, America's distinguished teleset. The Hanover console in classic pebble white design with 19-inch direct view picture tube, FM radio, and phonograph plug-in. Remember, there are many new and different models in both mahogany veneer and blonde hardwood made by Dumont. Dumont, the world's largest organization devoted exclusively to television and electronics. And now your Dumont dealer invites you to join Maury Amsterdam and the Happy Gang at the Silver Swan Cafe. to say that you're having such a wonderful time. It's floor show time again and time for everybody to hurry back to their tables and chairs because here's the man who's going to take you on a gay tour of our Silver Swan Cafe, your host, Maury Amsterdam. Thank you very much. Oh, Don, this is a thrilling night tonight. What are you dressed up for? Going to a funeral? Well, you know. What are you made up for, kid? Wow, all my friends are here. I see Andy, Mary, Cal, uh... People from uh, Los Angeles, the Gordon. All my friends are here tonight. Right. Means no minimum. You can't make a dime. <laughs> hey, look what I got. I got a present. Ask me what it is. What is it? Gee, Dad, I don't know. I'll take a look. Yes, I do know. Oh, boy. Isn't that keen? What is it? You said that before. I know, but what is this it? This is the new Manischewitz matzo ball pen point. <laughs> <laughs> point pen or something. Yeah, ball point pen. Ball point pen. Manischewitz matzo ball point. This is the only pen that writes under chicken soup. I see. Isn't that dandy? They've sent nice. so many lovely things. Today I got some Italian salami with built-in sen sen. What a day this has been. I'll see you. You can leave, kid. Bye. I'll see you on the foul point. Bye. Where's this guy get his hair cut? And now the song, ladies and gentlemen, that is any time people hear this, they say, oh, is that the buzz? No. Ha ha! What he Wah, wah. Yucca puck. Yucca puck. Yucca puck. Why, there's a guy lives on our block. I think he's off his noodle. He puts his dog on the end of a stick and wipes up the floor with his poodle. Hey, yucka buck. Yucka buck. Yucka buck. Yucka buck. Yucka buck. Everybody. Yucka buck. Yucka buck. Arrange with yucka buck. Yucka buck. Yucka buck. I'm glad you're all singing. We have some lovely gifts tonight for the ladies. An exciting new perfume that comes in three odors. Romance, exotic love, and good morning, Judge. <laughs> now we have a lovely gift for the men, too. I wrote it down here so I wouldn't forget it. Oh, fellas, you'll be crazy about this. It's a bicycle to match your bed. Are you thrilled? During the night, if you walk in your sleep, no more, you ride. <laughs> <laughs> you see, if your bed matches a bicycle, and <laughs> I took my girl to a party. We played hide and seek. All of a sudden, the lights went out. My case comes up next week. Yucca buck, yucca buck, yucca buck, yucca buck, yucca buck. Come on, tell me, yucca buck, yucca buck, yucca buck, yucca buck. All of a sudden, spring came back or something. It's been like like summer the last couple of days. I was out at the Central Park, and 
Well, I was telling Blair and Dean about it, and they framed a little number around the idea of a maid taking the, ba the baby for a, a walk through the park and the baby buggy and the policeman, and they get together and talk. Now, now here's the thing. We're going to make like the modern theater. You pretend that this is Central Park, and we're going to have pigeons fly out over the audience and squirrels run up and down the tables. It'll be dreadful. Well, <laughs> Blair and Dean in Central Park. <laughs> And do other things too. <laughs> Look, it's we have Peter now. Pan. <laughs> what is that man? You look more like deadpan. What is this running out? Are you crazy? What's the matter with you? And what is that? A bathing suit? No, that's an overcoat for a large demented morph. Of course it's a bathing suit. Well, what do you, you think are, it is? Are you crazy to come running in like that in such an outfit? We have all these lovely people, a nice cafe, my friends visiting here. I'm abashed. And chagrined. Why, this is a little ridiculous. More. What? Doesn't it do something when you stop and think that you and I are a part of all this? Oh, get it. <laughs> what are you yapping at me for? What do you get so excited just because a guy comes on a bathing suit? Well, Don't you realize a thousand people all over the country stepping out of store windows, cutting themselves, there, silly. <laughs> Looking at me and saying, there he goes, the Esther Williams of the YMCA. <laughs> You don't look like a little like the march. <laughs> More like the march remain of the A and P. What is this? Your huh? outfit. This all I got to wear. Well, that's pretty extensive wardrobe. Looks well, like I was... you fell asleep on that bench. Ah, oh, pretty good, yeah. <laughs> I was out swimming today, Coney Island. Somebody took off my clothes. Some bounder. <laughs> Some bounder? Well, Dad, that's. What are you kidding? Somebody my... took all your clothes. You were swimming on a day like this? I was wearing them up. Well. I... <laughs> Just what? give Dad the whole story now. Get it down to a college cheer. What's what? Well, happened? I'll tell you by some strange quirk of fate. I ran into my old landlady, Trooper. <laughs> Trooper, your old landlady? The beast. <laughs> yeah. So she's on her way to Coney Island, see? And? And she's got a bain suit and a basket full of sandwiches, you know. She says, Come along, Newton. Live. <laughs> 
So that's now what Now it is, huh? She make them with her own little hand? Oh, yeah, and her own big feet, too. <laughs> what I'll kind of sandwiches? You, the sandwiches saved my life. Uh-huh. Let me see. We had uh, marinated liver dipped in horseradish and honey. Oh, boy. Devil watercress and shredded wheat. And a stick. Pickle marshmallows sprinkled with kidney beans. Just sprinkled, huh? The beans were lousy. <laughs> Oh, I'm telling you, it was great. Well, wait a minute. How could all those kinds of sandwiches save your life? I didn't eat them. <laughs> and then while we were in the briny, taking a dip in the briny, some scallywag runs off with my clothes and the sandwiches. Well, a fellow like that should be made to suffer severely. <laughs> well, he bites into one of them sandwiches. <laughs> oh, hey, you know good. something? What sandwiches? What sandwiches? Oh, yeah. I'll tell you. What's the matter with him? him? Turned down by two tapeworms. <laughs> The sandwiches. <laughs> you know, I never noticed before. <laughs> I never noticed before. You know, you have quite a physique. I got a pretty good build. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Look good yeah. on a radiator cap. Yeah, it's on a radiator cap. You it's should right. have seen those dames at the beach ogling me. Giving you the glad E Y E. Yeah, boy, waving at me. I know, like this. Get out. <laughs> no, no, I like that, boy. There was one little tomato sitting up in the beach there. Well, she was really giving me the old come on, you know. Yeah. She said to me, you know, I, a message was delivered through the air. Live, live, live. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she yeah. was in one of those new bathing suits. What color? I don't know. She was reading a book. <laughs> what kind of a bathing suit is that? Well, the, the bathing suit comes down and he. The mid. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh. Ba -ba <laughs> come on, you're kidding. You really didn't go swimming on a day like this. I did go swimming. Oh, come on. I jump off the pier. I swam two miles in one hour, come back in four seconds. How could you do that? My suspenders caught in the end of the pier. <laughs> oh, I was swimming away like... What's the matter? Hey, wait a minute. What's wrong? I hate to take up a little time, but something's wrong here. What's wrong? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's, it's not a chihuahua, it's a fish! There's <laughs> a new way to catch fish. What kind is it? Huh? What'd you do, catch him in a trap door? What's the... <laughs> what kind is it? I think it's a smelt. What? A smelt. Still done. <laughs> See you later. Where are you going? Going out to the chef. With this? Well, I'm going to say, chef, you know what you've been doing with this? Yeah? Well, he'll give me some snappy answer. We'll probably oh, have right. a fist okay. fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that guy huh? I've been talking to this guy all night. You might just as well meet him, ladies and gentlemen, one of the great young singers we have around today, Andy Roberts. Andy, take a nice beat. Tell What's wrong? You look about as happy as nothing. What's wrong? I'm not feeling too well, Mark. You're not feeling too well? Uh, well, tell me all about it, kid. Give me the trubby trub. Okay. Last night I started out happy. Last night my heart was so gay. Last night I found myself dancing. In my favorite cabaret You were completely forgotten Just an affair of the past Then suddenly Something happened to me And I found my heart Beating all so fast I saw you last night And got that old feeling When you came inside I got that old It's 
foolish to start Where that old feeling Is still in my Songs, a dentist song. I saw you last night and got that old filling. <laughs> but, yeah, no, no, let's get tuned up now. Listen, I didn't know. Oh, that's a miserable yellow. You've all heard of Tchaikovsky Sweets. Tonight we bring you Amsterdam Sours. I come to you tonight with the courtesy of Liquid Lip Tone. That's that new lipstick that you put on. Well, you don't exactly put it on, you pour it on. If there's any left, you drink it. You'll have the reddest stomach in town. <laughs> we dare any other cigarette to make this statement. No other cigarette can talk. <laughs> and now a little number that I decompose myself. I'm sure you'll be thrilled to hear this. Entitled, When Your Hair Is Turned to Silver, You'll Have the Richest Head in Town. <laughs> Before and after, you're looking at during. <laughs> hey, Don, you know, we got something special tonight for all the, the lovers of romance in the audience, and especially the kids who would like to know what romance was like back in the days when our moms and pops were making love. You know, when the automobiles first came out and everything? Oh, but yeah. first, you have an important message, and it goes like this. Well, tonight I have a story about the Spratts, Mr. and Mrs. Spratt. You know, they're the same people who had such a hard time deciding about meals. Well, tonight they're trying to decide about buying a television set. Well, I don't care what kind of a set it is, as long as it's a good set. Well, I want one that looks good. Although I'd like a set with big pictures. Well, I can't make up my mind whether to get it in mahogany or blonde wood. As a matter of fact, I'd like to see a screen with, with life-size pictures. Well, I can't decide whether to get it in modern design or classical. Perhaps federal, Georgian. Pebble white? Well, it doesn't make any difference to me, as long as it's got big pictures. Is that all you can talk about, big pictures, big pictures? What do you mean, big pictures? Big pictures? I mean pictures as big as this. So naturally, the Spratts bought a Dumont Mount Vernon console after Mrs. Spratt had looked at all the new 1951 Dumont models and beautiful cabinet designs available in both mahogany veneers and blonde hardwoods because it was just what she wanted for her living room. And Mr. Spratt agreed with her choice because of the 19-inch life-tone, life-size pictures, which were the clearest, sharpest, most beautiful pictures he'd ever seen. And they both agreed the tone was simply magnificent, not only for television, but for FM radio and their phonograph records as well. And so they lived happily ever after, getting more out of life with television and getting the most out of television with Dumont. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to take you back to the year of 1910. A couple of fellas are out in uh, Stutz Bearcat Roadster. And believe me, they're out for no good.